Sports stadiums are modern day cathedrals. They are the theaters where some of the greatest sporting events take place and are areas which seek to define a city's identity and heritage. Through feats of incredible ingenuity and engineering, here are seven iconic stadiums which have pushed the boundaries of what a modern sports stadium can be. Number seven, Panathenaic Stadium. Our first stadium takes us back to where sports stadiums began, Athens, Greece. This was the home of the very first modern Olympic games and set the trend of what stadiums could do. Panathenaic Stadium was initially built during the 5th century BC in order to host the Panathenaic Games, a major sporting event within Athens. Throughout the centuries, this stadium has completely evolved over time. It was rectangular at first, like many stadiums in ancient Greece. During Roman times, it evolved into a rectangular horseshoe shape to appear more like the stadiums of its time. But despite its similar shape to other stadiums, there is one thing about this venue that is completely unique. Marble. This stadium is built from 100% marble and is the only stadium in the world made in this way. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the stadium was abandoned, and it was not until the 1800s when Greece became an independent state that the country decided to revitalize parts of its wonderful past. Greece was set to host the very first Olympic Games in 1896, and this stadium was built in marble once again. Today, the stadium continues to be a major tourist attraction and is also a venue of choice for ceremonial issues relating to sport. The stadium was even used for archery in the 2004 Olympic Games and was the venue for the opening ceremony of the 2011 Special Olympics. Number 6. Wembley Stadium. The Spanish newspaper El País Semanal once said, quote, if some of the world's largest football stadiums are sometimes referred to as cathedrals, then Wembley is the Vatican, end quote. Wembley Stadium is part of London's iconic skyline, most notably by its tiara or ring, which stretches much further than the actual sports stadium. It pushes the idea that stadiums are works of architecture and not just the facilitator of sporting events. The stadium began as a celebration of the British Empire and was built in 1924 when Britain controlled roughly a quarter of the entire world. At the time, the stadium had its iconic twin towers and became the venue of the 1948 Olympic Games and the 1966 World Cup where England were the victors. But by the turn of the century, the stadium was not fit for purpose and was completely demolished. For the new millennium, Wembley was set to become much bigger and better. The stadium was rebuilt in 2007, which cost 798 million pounds and involved 3,500 construction workers on the site. But this was much more than just an upgrade. It was now four times the size of the original and also now had a retractable roof. On sunny days, the pitch is fully open but during rainy weather, the stadium can simply close its roof and prevent any rain from disrupting the game. The entire stadium can switch from outdoor to indoor within an hour and was ideal for the unpredictable British weather. This stadium has certainly moved with the times. Old Wembley began in 1924, which was just three years after the ban on women playing soccer was lifted. In the new Wembley, the stadium was enraptured by England's women's team winning the 2022 European Cup Final. Number 5. Camp No Stadium In the 1950s, a soccer player for Barcelona named Laszlo Cabala was drawing in crowds from all over the world. He was causing so much demand that they simply had to build a bigger stadium. Before Camp No, Barcelona had an already impressive stadium which could hold 60,000 fans. Camp No, which simply means new stadium, currently consists of 99,354 seats. The stadium has become one of Spain's biggest tourist attractions, so it's often more tourists than locals watching the games. The stadium was built on the 24th of September, 1957, and coincided with the Catalan Festival of Merci. The soccer team and the stadium is intertwined with the city and region of Catalonia. 
written in yellow across one of the stands, reads Mehku en club, which means more than a club. A huge roof covers the stadium, which means that sunlight never reaches the grass on the pitch. This required constant maintenance of the grass, so in 2016, the pitch moved to hybrid grass, which is a mixture of real and artificial grass. Like Wembley, Barcelona's Camp Nou is also one of the world's most iconic soccer stadiums. It's the largest stadium in Europe, but it's about to get even bigger. By 2024, Camp Nou will be upgraded into a 105,000-seater stadium. But believe it or not, the capacity of the No Camp was extended to 120,000 during the 1982 Spain World Cup. Camp No will become Spotify Camp No as part of a sponsorship deal once the renovations have been completed. There are also plans such as solar power panels and rainwater harvesting features being implemented too. Barcelona are expected to play their games during the 2023-2024 season in the Olympic Stadium in Montjuic while the new camp is being upgraded. Coincidentally, this stadium is where club legend Leo Messi made his professional debut with the club. Number 4. Nevada – Allegiant Stadium Moving across the pond, Allegiant Stadium is the home to the Las Vegas Raiders and one of the most iconic NFL stadiums out there. Completed in 2020, this state-of-the-art stadium will set the trend for any future NFL stadiums. For example, the venue ingeniously contains translucent ETFE roof panels. This allows natural light to enter the stadium, yet protests against the sweltering desert heat. The stadium also has an 80 by 215 foot opening in the north end zone with lanai doors. Both of these features help give the feeling of an outdoor venue without actually being outdoors. The Raiders are passionate about playing on natural grass, which is easier said than done in an indoor arena. To provide enough sunlight for this grass, the grass sits on a 9,500 ton tray that is placed outside the stadium on non-game days. Outside the stadium is the Al Davis Memorial Port. Al Davis was a legendary coach for the Raiders and famously said, quote, the fire that burns the brightest in the Raiders organization is the will to win, end quote. This torch is lit prior to every Raiders game to give them luck. However, it is not an actual flame, but lighting effects which give that illusion. Number three, Hokukeido Ballpark, Japan. In 1872, an American English teacher named Horace Wilson introduced his students to an American sport of baseball. Little did he know that he sparked baseball into becoming Japan's favorite sport. Almost 150 years on, the Hokukeido Nippon Ham Fighters are currently building a brand new 35,000-seater baseball stadium. Like Wembley Stadium, this stadium will have a retractable roof which will avoid any interruption from Japan's snowy winter season. It is also meant to replicate a traditional Hokkaido home. It will be the first Japanese baseball stadium with natural grass, and a large glass wall is in place to ensure that natural sunlight still reaches the grass even when the roof is being used. It also means that during the snowy season, the grass will receive natural sunlight but will escape the harsh weather when the roof is closed. The stadium also includes a five-story building named Tower 11, which is the number used by Raiders legends Yu Darvish and Shohei Otani. It contains a sauna, hotel, and a bar, so the stadium is intended to be used not just during big games. It will be the first baseball stadium where you can view the game from your own hotel room. This stadium is expected to be completed in March 2023. Number two. Qatar, Ras Abu Abu. In Qatar, one stadium will truly change the game of how stadiums are built and constructed in the future. Think of an IKEA flat pack piece of furniture, except that it's a 40,000 seater stadium. This is kind of what happened with Ras Abu Abu. For the 2022 World Cup, Qatar had to act fast. They needed to build seven new stadiums in the span of 10 years which seemed impossible. But Ras Abu Abud is an amazing example of how quickly a stadium can be constructed. 
This is made mostly of shipping containers and can be moved and disassembled to a different location once the World Cup is over. It is also referred to as Stadium 974 because 974 shipping containers are used to assemble the building and plus 974 is also the international dialing code for Qatar. Shipping containers are usually not intended to be aesthetically pleasing. However, the shipping containers' multitude of colors result in an incredibly colorful and eye-catching stadium. In the future, this will be perfect for countries looking to host major events like the World Cup or the Olympics, but do not have enough stadiums. After the World Cup, this stadium is believed to be disassembled and moved to Uruguay if the country's bid to host in 2030 proves successful. A relatively small country like Uruguay would otherwise have to build an entirely new stadium, one which they would struggle to find a use for after the tournament. There's also the sustainability aspect of the project. There are sadly a number of Olympic stadiums which have been abandoned since the events have taken place. Rio de Janeiro, Beijing, China, Athens, and Surwevo are all home to abandoned Olympic venues. This genius idea could vastly reduce the number of derelict stadiums across the globe. Number one, Liverpool, Everton. Our last stadium takes us to Liverpool, where Premier League soccer team Everton is looking to upgrade. In doing so, they eventually had to reclaim land onto the water of an old dockyard, taking sand from Liverpool Bay and the Irish Sea. The sand is then pressure compacted to form a solid foundation for the stadium. Imagine Palm Jumeirah, except in rainy Liverpool. This will be a bold design stadium and have the capacity to hold 52,000 fans. The team's current stadium, Goodison Park, can only hold 39,572. This stadium has managed to fill its capacity by at least 98% at every match, so the club feels that it could add an extra 10,000 at every game. The stadium's design is that of a bowl constructed with steel and glass. The stadium will be surrounded by bars, restaurants, and other amenities. And of course, the stadium is expected to contain five roof trusses to protect against rainy weather. One of the biggest developments is that Everton will have its own yellow wall. The German soccer team, Borussia Dortmund, plays with the color yellow and has a huge stand dedicated to home fans, which will allow them to generate a lot more noise to support their team. Everton's blue wall will contain a stand for 13,000 to cheer on their team. The stadium is expected to be completed in 2024. Thank you so much for watching. Which is your favorite sports stadium and why? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, you can support the channel by subscribing and liking this video.